Okay, so when you've got your 17 nice little garter ridges all done, um, we're gonna start with the first section of ribbing. So you're going to start with a knit stitch like we've been doing, and then bring your yarn between the needles to the front for a purl stitch. Then another knit, and another purl, and then you're just gonna repeat that pattern all the way along the length of the row. It's really important to check where your yarn is before you make your stitch. So if I'm setting up to make a knit stitch, I want to make sure I have my yarn at the back before I put the needle into the stitch. Um, one of the common mistakes that people make with ribbing is that, um, let's say I've got a purl stitch coming up next, they'll put the needle in to make the purl stitch and wrap the yarn around. And what this does is it leaves the yarn going over the top of the needle um, and this is a way that you add a stitch um, so you, your scarf can suddenly end up much wider than you were intending. So just make sure that you move the yarn um, to where you want it to be before you make the stitch. You want to end up on a knit stitch. So that's one completed row of ribbing. When I turn my work and I start uh, going the other direction, um, I'm starting with a purl stitch. Um, this is because um, knits and purls are opposite on the back of the work. So if I want my stitches to be nice and lined up, I need to have a knit on the front and a purl on the back. All right, so for the left-handed, um, it can be a little bit tricky to purl um, when you're knitting continental. So there's a great little trick for managing this. The knit stitches are exactly the same, but for the purl stitches, when you've moved your yarn to the front, rather than having the yarn back here where you're trying to pull it through the purl stitch, you can just take it underneath like that. And this is um, purling eastern. There's also purling western. So. The only trick with this is that um, when you're going back the other way, um, you're going to have to untwist some stitches, and I'll show you what that looks like on the next row. Um, the purling eastern is really great, um, especially if you're doing like a wide rib with three or four stitches, um, because it keeps everything really nice and even um, and gives you really crisp definition on your ribbing. All right, and here's that little trick I was talking about. do my purl stitches the same way on this row, but on my knit stitch, here's where this gets a little bit funny. Normally I'd be going into the stitch like this, but if I do that, it's going to be twisted. So I'm going to be going in through the back leg of the stitch so that the stitch just opens up like a nice little window, and then I knit it like that. is a nice and easy way to knit a rib with the left hand. So now we've got a nice nice little rib going here. Um, you can see that the knit stitches are stacked on top of each other and the purl stitches are stacked on top of each other. So we're, we're making good progress here. So do 15 rows in the ribbing and then start with the garter stitch again. <laughs> 